My name is Charwin and I'm a Pinoy nurse here in the UK and for today's video we will be talking about the drug trolley and I will show you what we use here in the UK or what we use in our ward and um, another kind that um, we used way back when I was still in the nursing home. This will be a quick one. Uh, I just wanted to show you what we use in our local trust and compare it with uh, the one that um, we had back then when I was still working in the nursing home. So as you can see in this video, uh, you already have a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse built in uh, for this trolley, which means there should be a CPU somewhere there. So if you open up this trolley, you will see that we have different shelves for different kinds of medications. Of course, that depends on you and your team as to how you want to arrange it. We generally have painkillers and PPIs all in one shelf. Uh, another one, the other medications from A to Z, or A to Z, like they call it here in the UK. Another one would be antibiotics and the last shelf would be well, generally laxatives along with other anticoagulants. We use a lot of anticoagulants in our ward because we are uh, a surgical orthopedic ward and we need them to prevent DVTs. So yeah, that's uh, how we arrange our um, drug trolley. Again, that depends on your ward as to how or what medications you would need on a daily basis. So I also wanted to show you the pictures of the same kind of drug trolley that we use in the hospital. These ones I got from the internet and they have the sharp spin attached to them. So there should be a sharp spin on the drug trolley. We usually do because like again, we use a lot of um, anticoagulants, the uh, Clexane or Inixia for our patients. Now here are um, a couple of pictures for the security leash or clamps that are attached to the wall and we are required uh, as per our local policy to attach our drug trolleys every time we are not using them so besides the keypad lock that we have within the trolley we are also required to lock them with the security leash that's mounted on the wall There is also a socket that we need to plug each time we're done with the drug trolley so that every time we need it, it's fully charged and it doesn't um, shut down on us. So for the drug trolley that I used back when I was still in the nursing home, didn't have a built-in computer. So all it was was a drug trolley with shelves in it for the medications that we had for our residents. It also featured a um, a counter. Of course, you can use the the top of the of the trolley to write down your documentation on your medication chart. But some of these trolleys also feature a um, counter which you can flip from the inside of the trolley. They also have brakes, so if you want to keep the drug trolley in place and not move around, we can engage the brakes so that it doesn't cause any accidents. Also, there is a security leash that we can attach to the drug trolley or a clamp so that we can attach so that even though there is already a lock, for the trolley itself. Another feature, another security feature would be a security clamp or security leash mounted on the wall. Another thing that I would like to show you in this video is another kind that I used when I took the OSCE. So here are different pictures. I just wanted to show you so that you don't get surprised when you get to the actual implementation of your um, adpi or api stage of the oski 
it pretty much has the same features as the previous two drug trolleys it just looks different and like again i just wanted to show this to you for reference so that is all we have for this video once again this is charwin pinoiners here in the uk